Did you know that Genesis has only been around since 2016? And when you look at the cars today that Genesis are producing, it's very hard to believe because they have such a strong brand identity, a clear DNA in its design, and it is very, very hard to do that as a completely brand new brand. But that's what happens when you hire great designers from the start. And now we have this. This is the Genesis X Grand Berlinetta concept. And it was unveiled at the Grand Turismo World Finals. And I am blown away by this design. The thing about this is it is a Grand Turismo concept. And we know that they can go extremely crazy when it comes to the design. The Lamborghinis and so on. And there is no hint at all that this is ever going to reach production. This though, this has a lot of details in it that looks like it could potentially in the future be some sort of production car. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. We're going to have a look at what this exactly is. And then of course, have a look at this design from the sketch phase. We're going to have a look at some of the sketches and then go into the real model. And I'm going to show you what it is specifically I love with this design because Genesis, they have this extremely tight identity from the G70 sedan to the GV80, uh, the big SUV. And last but not least, the X con Concept. X uh, convertible and the X coupe beautiful concepts and it's instantly recognizable as a Genesis so let's have a look here at uh, what's going on with this X, X Grand Berlinetta concept from uh, car magazine I'm gonna link this article down in the description so here we have it just have a look at the, these proportions it's, it's so many things that I want to see in a car design today that are intact in this specific design more on that when we go into Photoshop so unveiled at the 2023 Grand Turismo World Finals in Barcelona the X Grand Berlinetta VGT is a Vision GT car and therefore commissions is especially for using Gran Turismo 7. However, this is a cool part. According to Genesis North American design team, it firmly establishes design cues that will be seen in future production cars. Now, what they mean by that, it's up in the air. Do they mean they still gonna keep these two, two line design? Or are we gonna have sports, uh, you know, hyper cars like this from Genesis in the future? We don't know, but at least some of these details are going into production in the future as it looks like right now. So they wanted to distill the very essence of the brand into a new concept. And how do you do that with a brand that's only been around from 2016? Very, very hard thing to do. And what's the essence of Genesis, you ask? Well, it starts with the badge. The crest forms the shape of the grill, while two lines, you have those two strokes going through the entire length of the car end up forming the car's unique light signature. Whenever you see a Genesis on the road, this is what I'm talking about, people immediately recognize it by the two line signature with the headlamps and then the two line signature with the rear of the car as well, says the chief, design, chief designer of Genesis. So we have glowing parallel lines wrapping around the front and the back of the car, just like in the brand's current production models. And have a look at these proportions. There's so much going going on in here that I, I can't wait to jump into Photoshop and talk to you about that. So the X Grand Coupe Berlinetta VGT features classic lines and volumes more, more reminiscent of something from Italy and that was deliberate. You have a lot of Italian cues in here and we also have a lot of European cues and we also have a lot of Asian cues in this design. Inside you have the X Grand Berlinetta VGT is a hybrid of a race car and a luxury saloon. Genesis interior designers have taken inspiration from the steering wheel from the PlayStation iconic controller you can see that in this design of the steering wheel it looks pretty cool. It looks like a race car steering wheel, not too comfortable for a long drive because you basically need to have two hands on it. The Genesis concept isn't beyond the re realms of reality. And that is what makes this uh, the most interesting. Usually I don't cover, you know, extreme concept cars like this here on the channel because I know they're never going to go into production. But this one, I have a, I have a different feeling about this design. So the, the powertrain uses a compact V6, redline 10,000 RPM, horsepower, 1,017 and 986 pound-feet of torque. It's connected to an elec electric motor, so you have 198 horsepower come from the electric motor and the rest from this V6. And Genesis design team is adamant that the as that aspects of it will be recognizable in future production cars. And again, that remains to see. Are we talking proportions? Are we talking graphics? Or what is going to be in the production versions? But let's jump into Photoshop here because there's a lot to talk about uh, with this design. It it's I'm always blown away when Genesis comes out with a new design. Even the GV80, uh, coupe usually I 
really don't like to pay SUVs, but they managed to make it into a very, very tight looking coupe SUV. And here we have the, the design sketches. And I love looking at stuff like this because this gives me an insight to the, uh, the thoughts and the ideas of the designers in sketch form, which is the best form to present any idea in my opinion is just sketch it down instead of writing a business plan to sketch out your business plan here we have the early sketches very clean side view and have a look at the proportions of this thing very smooth lines long lines and what i think about these proportions is that as i said when we talked about the spec and tag it feels like there's a lot going on here from different parts of the world coming into one single car and here you can see some of the uh, notes from the designer the, uh, uh, as well you have a uh, purity of intent adrenaline and beauty and then they have this shape on the side of the car right here, which I suppose is, uh, is supposed to symbolize some sort of adrenaline rush or something like that. And you can see that we have that in the bodywork of the car right here. A beautiful rear view. We have the signature ellipse in the rear end that we have on a lot of Genesis today, even in the production models. So you can still see a bit of a silhouette and that's where the graphics is housed in and then kind of wraps around the corners. I also like this slingshot because if you look at this design, there is, if you want to know what a dynamic, when I say dynamic designs, what do I exactly mean by that? This is going to be a fantastic example of a dynamic car design because we have tension, we have fluid organic motions in it, surfaces, in addition to almost an exoskeleton vibe. Here and here you can see some of the aero for the Genesis uh, Berlinetta concept. And of, of course, we do have the very clean identity in the front end. I think, again, Genesis is just one of these brands that does identity very very clear in their cars here you can see the front wing that is fixed being this entire bar here air flows under it creates some downforce in the downforce in the front end same philosophy in the rear end with this ellipse that we see right here for example same type of wing in the rear end and here we have the interior from a different angle it doesn't look too crazy and too conceptual to me and i think we could potentially turn this interior into something that would be more uh, production friendly now looking at the real thing and now we're gonna go into the heavy stuff when it comes to the grand berlinetta concept and what i think about this car so looking at this car the first time i saw it i instantly knew that it was a genesis and that by itself is just a big accomplishment for any brand if you just see it for half a second you instantly recognize these two lines that we have right here going in and then coming back here in the rear end as being a Genesis, specifically when we have the crest in the front end. But the proportions, these, as I said in the article, this has a lot of Italian styling to it, specifically with this curvature that I'm sketching right now, the, the top shoulder line, very fluid, emotional, organic, almost human-like muscles and, and feelings in, in those surfaces. But then when you look at the overall proportions with the greenhouse starting way back here, and also this huge cut, this adrenaline graphic that we have in the side view, then it becomes almost a little bit more Aston Martin-ish to me. So we have Italian and British, so far in this design now looking at the side view this is slight uh, top side view as you can see here you can clearly see how it flows and the volumes of, of these proportions we have this volume in the front end being very loose it feels very very light in addition to the carved out portion in the hood right here creating this wing air comes in here flows up on top of the hood pushing the front end down i also love these wheels with a bit of a deep dish feel to it, it pu pushes inwards creating a depth in the wheel planting the car properly exactly what you want to have if you're doing a Gran Turismo concept like we have here and then of course the greenhouse starting all the way back here being very minimal in its design it's also blacked out so it removes the greenhouse and the proportions of the greenhouse from the overall proportions of the car and in true Genesis fashion we have this line from the front end starting very low and then it dips downwards all the way back here until it comes into this big muscle over the rear uh, rear axle and this is something that they have today in their production cars as well they have this sloping downward line in combination with the two key graphic lines and that is essentially what Genesis is from a side view if you look at the identity of the brand looking at the very far end point of this car very fluid organic shape curvatures everywhere and this is what I want to see in car design today I mean this would be a dream project imagine you're a designer working at Genesis 
and you get the brief that we're gonna create a concept we're gonna build it in a physical form but it's not gonna go into production instead it's gonna go into Gran Turismo and you're completely free to do whatever you want with this design as long as we have the key elements of Genesis intact and this definitely feels like one of these designs that the designers have a lot of fun and they unleashed their creativity without any limits in this car we have the Italian surfaces in the side view we have the British proportions almost Aston Martin like Vulcan style proportions here you can clearly see how these two lines wraps all around this car and coming back inside of this beautiful ellipse in the rear end you can see the depth of the wheels here going in like this and you have a big beautiful organic diffuser at the very bottom massive diffuser down here but I do like how these taillights, the LEDs, they have this almost exoskeleton feel because we have this piece of the body covering up part of that LED so it feels like even more almost like an organic piece we have a skeleton or bones on the outside covering the organic pieces on the inside and one of my key favorite lines on this car is this line that goes over the rear axle because we have such a long hood and a long line dipping downwards here so we need to have something to balance that out to come back and add some muscle over the rear axle and that's exactly what's happening here and this curvature over the rear axle is also perfectly positioned because look at where the peak of this is it's right in the middle of the axle you can see it more clearly here if you have a curvature like this and the peak of it sits right where it's supposed to be right above straight above the center point of the rear axle that creates a nice housing for the rear axle definitely plants it uh, properly now looking at the interior here there's not so much to talk about of the interior as I said it doesn't really feel too conce uh, conceptual we do have this big uh, framing of it almost like a full border going across the entire interior here looks like you do have some sort of screen in the middle you have even have if I'm seeing this correctly you do have physical dials and knobs for the climate control settings I'm not sure if this even has climate control but at least we do have a couple of physical buttons and here you can see the steering wheel inspired by the PlayStation controller have some more knobs here and of course you need to have a display inside of the wheel if it is a proper race car and that's what we got here so overall I think Genesis has always been this brand that does their designs very nicely and they had really started out in 2016 by thinking about what type of identity we want our brand to have moving forward and then they stuck to it even though this two-line design is something that's this kind of started doing uh, seriously I think in 2017 or 2018 so a couple of years in but ever since then they stuck to this concept it's definitely benefiting Genesis to have a strong identity like this because they're coming out time after time with beauties such as this one now all they have to do is take these concepts, the X Coupe and the X Convertible, stunning designs, and now we have this one as well, just take these and put them into production.